he worked his butt off to make sure I went to school. I got all types of degrees then. It's all types of degrees. <laughs> Just kept going to school and kept going to school. Oh, your husband was cooking for you, right? Oh, he's cooking all the time. Yes. You know, Dennis, now you know that man was strong. It's a funny man. You know he was cooking all types of stuff for me. Cook, I did not cook. I still don't know how to cook. I don't care. After my divorce, I didn't know how to put gas in my car. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again. With another episode of Fullery. Okay, people. Okay, let's jump right into this one. I got two clips for you. And we're going to talk about some some things that's, that's, that seems to be trending. And it's, ladies, you ladies, why, when you get your new job, or your uh, your degrees, you know, your degree or whatever, you start looking down your man and then leave him or divorce him. Why do y'all do that? The person that was with you while you was doing all this stuff, that gave you the edge to be able to spend time to do all these things, he took up the slack for you, some of them picked up extra jobs for you, you know what I'm talking about. But as soon as you get yours, you move into that office, you in that place with all these other, you got a little corporate job now, or you making six figures. You start looking down on your man. And then y'all make the ultimate move and jump up and divorce him or leave him. I'll tell him he got to get out. Because you're thinking, oh, I'm up here with these elite people now. Somebody must want me. Even though I'm still 254 pounds. I make six figures, so they should at least want me, right? And mm -mm. So this is where we at with this, people. This young lady here is something every woman should listen to. She did something that a lot of you do. I know a lady that did something similar, and she's still struggling to this day. She did it right before COVID and got rid of her dude. And she brought some other dude in and didn't last five months. And she's been struggling ever since. So I want y'all to check some of this out and then we're going to jump in. We're going to talk about it a little bit. So before we do, I mean, before we go, before we hit it, y'all know what to do. Hit the share, like, subscribe, and definitely that notification. Hit the likes because that helps the algorithms roll. And that's how you support the channel. So no further ado, let's check this out. I don't think I can ever love anybody like I, I loved that for my ex-husband. Most women can't say that. It's a hard thing for women to say. My ex-husband was a very sweet man. He took care of me like no other person would take care of me. He took care of me when I was seasoned. He took care of me when I was, he took care of me when no one else was there. He was there. And so the love that I have for him, even now, I think would never be like, I don't know, never know, never say never, but I don't know if I could love anybody the way I love him. So when we first got here, my whole focus was school. He told me not to work, not to do anything. This man worked two, three jobs just to make sure I was going to school. Listen, you give props where props deserves. He worked his butt off to make sure I went to school. I got. Okay, so I want you guys to just pay attention to what she has said so far that she would never love anybody. She got love for this man. Like she don't think she can ever love someone like she did with him. And he only wanted the best for her. He worked two or three jobs to put her through school. All right. Just remember that. This is what this man did for her. Okay. Now she keep referring to him as her ex-husband. Now, did y'all hear anything he did to become an ex-husband? Why is he an ex-husband? Just keep listening. Watch. All types of degrees, then it's all types of degrees. <laughs> Just kept going to school and kept going to school. Oh, your husband was cooking for you, right? Oh, it's cooking all the time. It's you know, then and now you know that man was strong. It's a funny man. You know, he was cooking all types of stuff for me. Cook, I did not cook. I still don't know how to cook. I don't care. After my divorce, I didn't know how to put gas in my car. <laughs> I did not know how to put gas in my car. Every Sunday, he would wash my car, he would put gas in my car. <laughs> And he would clean it and bring it. I love, ladies, I love all of that. 
all of all that over something that I could have probably, you know, at that time I took it for granted. Like when he didn't wash my car, I'd be like, why didn't you wash my car? Like, why are you not washing my car today? <laughs> like that's normal. This is what he did. He washed my car every Sunday. Wash my car. I put gas. I did not know how to put gas in my car. You think the degrees got to your head? <laughs> yes. Look here, I'm I'm so just thrown away from all this. Ladies, y'all constantly crying about a good dude. And we try to tell you, all of these good dudes are not going to be these hundred and two hundred thousand dollar men. But they will be a dude that will do any and everything for you. They'll they will kiss the ground that you walk on. And they'll make sure you are good to go, even though they're at home busted up, tired. But they, they, if they can look over and see that their wife is good to go, they're good to go. But y'all don't understand that. Y'all keep thinking these accolades is what's going to make and break your relationships. And in some cases, it does, just like hers. She thought by getting these degrees, it trumped all the good things he did for her. Now, look, she's not a, she's not a small woman. So she's going to jump out in this dating game thinking with her degrees that, these men coming for her because of her degrees and her brain, she's smart. They're going to want her. But see, those dudes up in them upper numbers, they're looking for feminine and fit. Feminine and fit. And they're in cooperation. They're not looking for big 200-something pounds and smart. They need something. That they want to, They need that, what they call them, uh, eye candy. Let's just call it that. It is what it is, ladies. It is what it is. So she did all that and still hadn't, hadn't, hadn't figured out yet. why. So why you let this good man go? Because you got degrees? Really? You got a good job? Really? <laughs> I just don't get it. I don't yes, I think it got to a point. I had the job. I had the corner office, right? I was working for the state of Ohio. You couldn't tell me nothing. Here I was meeting with the mayor and blah, blah, blah. And I was out there and, you know, he'll say something. And I'll be like, oh, what you talk about? You from Monka City? Sit down somewhere. <laughs> I'm the one that filed for you. That's another story, okay? Yeah. That's another story. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that because women, I think a lot of people will talk about this filing situation when you file or you file for somebody to get their green card or become you know whatever it is they don't owe you nothing if that's your husband that's your husband like you file for your husband why do you think you have to get something from that um and not all of those relationships ends up bad not every relationship ends up bad because you file for the person is the way you carry yourself you can have your green card they can have their green card you can get together and your relationship can still go sour it's how much watering you want to put into that relationship right like so i filed for him and i need to throw that in his face like it was water he'll start talking i'm like i'm about to call immigration on you about to call call immigration on you immigration meanwhile hold on meanwhile I'm scared. Uh, Me, well, I didn't mean it. I took him for granted. Right? Like, men need to feel validated. Just like women want to feel validated, men want to feel validated. They want to feel important. And I think I took him for granted. I took the fact that he's always going to be there. He has nowhere to go. He loves me. And I took it for granted. The, I lost a sense of respect for him. You know, the respect that you give a man to be able to help him to become the leader. I, I didn't do that. I so this is my whole thing with this. My, my entire thing. What did he do? What did he do to deserve such an ill-mannered woman? This man did everything right that y'all women say y'all want. And then when he when he does it, you get your little change now, and you're gonna walk out on him. So this man took three jobs so you can put you through school, so you can become this great elite woman. And now you turn around once you walk in the office and sit around all these people at your corner office, you're gonna look down on him because he probably just has a, a meager job. Because he's working three of them. So you don't want to tell people what your husband, you embarrassed to tell people what your husband do. When they ask, so what's your husband do? Uh, 
Eh, he just works some construction. Uh, he help. He clean floors on the weekend. Uh, you don't want to tell him that. So now you shame of your husband. You don't want to be there. Now you're seeing these dudes walking around here. You're thinking, oh, they might want me because they're speaking to you. They're being nice. You're sitting here about 270, 80 pounds, and you're thinking they want you. So you get rid of your husband. And now the reality kicks in. Oh, shit. These men ain't coming to wash my car. They're not trying to put no gas in my car. They're not cooking for me. They're not doing all these things he used to do. Damn, what did I do? How can I get him back? But this is the end of this. this you know, it's another piece to this story. The ex-husband is now remarried. So now he's doing all that with the new wife. And now she's sitting back thinking like most of you women do after you done left a good dude because y'all, he can have one or two flaws and y'all just throw the whole thing away. And now you get with a dude that got 10 or 20 flaws. But now she's sitting back wishing now, oh, he was the, I would never love another man like him and all. Oh, it's too late for all that. Who cares? He's gone. He's moved on. You showed him you didn't appreciate what you had. And that's what a lot of you ladies out here doing. Y'all letting these trends and Instagram mess y'all up. Y'all leaving dudes. And then y'all out here on the hunt. And you'll get a couple dudes going to run up in you, hang out. But they ain't sticking around. They're not doing the stuff he used to do. So now, see, age ain't no joke. It catches up with you. But we're going to jump into the next video. Uh, it's one with young jock and his, his, his wife. And some things I've seen a lot of ladies do with their men when they get around company. And they do this little thing where they try to put down their man. Like they wait till they get in front of people and try to like, oh, you ain't this or you, oh, you don't do this. Start telling people what they don't do and how they are. But he put that shit in check. And I like the way he did it. So y'all check this out if you hadn't seen it. Some of you may have seen it, but if you hadn't seen it, she humbled herself real quick. But well, that's how you put it. You, you said I, you wouldn't want my son to be like me. I wouldn't want them to do some of the things that you okay. have done. Okay, oh, and I wouldn't want my Namely, daughters to do some of the things you've done. I We're know, human. That's what I'm trying to say. You would want to do majority of the things that I've done. Listen, what I'm saying is, when you talk about me, don't sum say me facts, up. Right? Don't sum me up on the worst side of me or what you consider the worst side of me. Because ain't okay. nobody fucking perfect. So okay. don't do that. That's All what we're right. not going to do. Because okay. as a man, guess what? I got to stand on mine too. Yes, I, you do. Guess what? Get, you, let me, let me yeah, tell you something. You I didn't go to college. Guess That's what? Fine. I want my kids to go to college. So we can say That's that right good. now. That's, I don't want them to go that direction. I want them to go to college. I can say that with you too. Right. But don't sit here in front of the world, in front of a, a, a medium, mm -hmm. and say, oh, I wouldn't want my son or uh, your sons to be like you. Hold on. Oh, did y'all catch that? Now, the only reason I, I did this one is because I know someone that did something similar when she got around her friends. Um, she liked putting her man down when she get around people. She liked bringing up their flaws, everything that go on, go on around them. Soon as she get around friends and family, she starts barking out what he ain't this and that. And I always sat back and was like, why she do that? Why the man that you claim you with, you love, whatever, why do you want to make him look bad in front of people? Because that's a reflection on you. And I, I tell people this all the time. Your woman is a reflection of you. Your man is a reflection of you. When they go out and you're not with them, they represent you. So why would you put them down and then say some mess like, I hope your sons don't grow up and be like you? What kind of shit is that to say? But you married him. That make no sense. You just want to say something hateful and hurtful but for what reason? Y'all, let's do some more. Just listen how I like the way Jock put her in place because he wasn't rude or mean to her. And that's why, guys, you don't have to get all outrageous and get erratic and get ridiculous. Stay calm. Stay in control. And give it to her. <laughs> No, nah, we got no. You gonna put some respect like on my name? Cause at the end of the day, I'm successful. I, I take care of my kids. Okay. Ain't none of my kids out here in 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 dire need of 
of, of love and support. Okay. So we're going to do that. Okay. Because okay. I don't appreciate that. Because there's some things about you that I could say, I wouldn't want my daughters to do. Go ahead. I'm not going to do that. I respect you and I love you enough. I want this magazine to know what it is about me. You don't want your daughters to do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do that. Be my guest. I'm not going to be slighted, honey. I'm not going to do that. That's that's where we have to draw the line. Okay. Because I don't care because the camera in front of me or somebody asking me questions. I'm not going to reveal my everything that go on with me. Just okay. like right now, you ain't going to sit here in front of these people and tell what your credit score is. You ain't going to sit here and tell them your social security number. You ain't going to sit here and tell them what's he keep her mouth closed long enough to listen to what he's saying. You hear how she rebuttal Everything he says, she's saying little stuff in between. It's like she's trying to get an argument out of him when he's trying to explain something to her. And I always tell women, stop listening to respond. Listening to, listen to hear what the other person is saying. But y'all so caught, y'all listen, y'all listen to respond so quick. Y'all listen for one or two little words. As soon as y'all hear them, y'all jump right into the whole conversation and mess it up. Like, let me finish talking, then you'll understand what I'm saying. And then majority of the time, well, how's it be? Uh, oh, okay, okay, I got you, I got you. Yeah, but if you hadn't stopped cutting me off, you could have gotten this from then. Not, I do all this now. But she's she's trying so hard to be rebut to rebut him that she's not listening to what he's trying to tell her. He don't want his business all out there. If you felt that way, you should have had that conversation with him. Not they in front of a magazine, so you know how they'll write that shit up. And he know he's been in the industry for a while. But she thinking that will get them lit out there and all this, making me look bad though. Why are you gonna make your husband look bad? The father of your children. Why are you gonna make him look bad? And then say some mess like that. Like pfft. your bank account either. I won't. Okay, so some things are better left fucking unsaid. Okay. And in the private, and that's what I'm gonna do. So when you okay. addressing me, okay. don't ever don't ever make it seem like I'm the worst of the worst. Cause I'm not. Okay. Cause I came through and changed your life. And it wasn't about me having no money. It was about the right, integrity. It, it was about it was. it was about my integrity. It was about me standing up for you. It was about me helping you open your eyes to see things that no other man has gotten you to do. So when you talk about me and address me, please be mindful of that, because I love you for who you are, I good and you, bad. You know but, I love but, you. So for don't. Who you so, are. What but else I would never I say to the world that I wouldn't want my daughters to be like you, because then it makes me question why are you with me. I'm not with you for the bad things. I'm not with you for having outside. Well, just don't ever say that again, million. please. Okay. Well, you asked me. You got it in this interview. Don't just don't let me <laughs> say that again. Okay. Ever, please, thank you. I'm sorry. Now, pre- now did y'all y'all ch- did y'all catch that at the end? How she tried to still throw that little jab in, or how you got outside kids in here? You see what I'm saying? Why are you trying to tell a magazine all this stuff? Why are you still with them if it's a problem? If it's a problem, you need to leave. That's just it. Everybody know Jock had kids. I don't know when he married this woman, but if you stuck around after he had these kids, if he had these kids while he's with you and you stayed, that's your fault. But if he had these kids and then you came in here, you knew what he had. You knew Jock had kids. But this is the thing. Why are you trying to make him look bad for it? Because you hurt, probably. Let's just be real. So you want to do everything it is. Y'all ruin, y'all don't ruin so many millionaires' careers out of hurt. And that and that ruining careers hurt you financially also, hurt your kids financially. Look at all these football players and all this stuff. The woman gets mad and go tell tell somebody, go online and say, he choked me. He put me on the ground. He did this. No police report. You just go and say it. And I'm not saying he didn't do it. But I'm saying you could have handled it a different way than going on there. And then it messed up the job, which messed up the money financially for the family. Go to counseling. Not the internet. Counseling. That's how it works, people. You don't mess up your money, your finances for your family. You go and get help. That's why you don't see a lot of Caucasians in the news for that kind of stuff. They're not messing up the money. 
Now, they might, you're going to go to some counseling. We're going to work this thing out, but we ain't messing up this money. Get your ass back out there and hit that ball, run down that field, whatever you're going to do. But y'all getting y'all feelings, and everybody got to lose now. I don't care. Now, you want to move back to the project? Go right ahead. But it's just the thing with some of y'all, I just don't get. I never do. So I just hope things work out later on in life. Y'all get a different output on how things are supposed to be and shit get better. Y'all dropping good men because y'all getting a degree. Y'all got a good man and you talk about him in front of people. I mean, I don't. I mean, y'all don't want the good dudes. Y'all want the bad ones. And then the bad ones do all this other stuff. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Well, but guys, that's all I got on this one. Make sure y'all hit that like, share, and subscribe if you like the video. Um, all I can say, guys, I'll see y'all next time around. And it's your boy. <laughs> and I'm up out of here. Peace. <laughs>